break it down for them, Joy, in terms of like, like we said, Zoom calls are here to stay. A number of people are opting to go the way of doing, I know I'm certainly one of those. If I don't need to make the eye contact and be viewing something, I prefer to take an audio call. Like it's good, kick it old school on the phone. Um, that said, voice is a big way. I mean, like people interrupt each other or they don't fully understand um, messaging. You might think someone understood what you said, but they get something different. So what are some tips you'd, um, you'd give our audiences on what they should be thinking about specifically as they're presenting and um, doing audio work? Well, it's good, thank you. Because that was a subject that just came up, but rhythm and pacing changes the way. So for instance, if I can just give you an example. Yes. I used to say my name, Joy Jukes, and nobody understood it. They would say, Julie, Joni, jo Jules, Juice. <laughs> they just weren't getting it. So I realized, okay, I need to use a rhythm and pacing that lands in them. So now I say, Joy, Jukes. Mm, yeah. Joy, Jukes. Joy, Jukes. Joy, Jukes. Right? right. <laughs> and after people have heard it, they got it. it, it lands, they can repeat it. But mm -hmm. if I say it too quickly and on one beat, joy jukes, da, da, it's not enough for them to get it. Then they're in some doubt about what I've actually said, right? So- Interesting, I always say my name in one beat. Now I'm going to think about that. Yes, yeah, me too, yes. me too. <laughs> This Very is cool. just the subtlety of communication, huh? 